Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you three native WordPress page builders that will make Webflow users feel right at home. Okay, so now I'm not trying to stoke the fires of WordPress versus Webflow argument because basically I use both of them and it really does come down to what's the right tool for the job. Both of them have their strengths and weaknesses and yeah, it really does just come down to what's right for you and right for your clients and which one is choose. However, this video aims to give you the choice to be able to use both of them while trying to keep some common workflows to kind of make sure that your day to day doesn't get harder than it needs to be. Now, this video isn't going to be a huge deep dive into each of these page builders, and it really is just going to be looking at from what's closest in terms of Webflow and uh, looking at which, which are my particular favorites in terms of working within WordPress. Each of the page builders I've selected give fantastic performance right out the box and are very, very close to the experience that you're, that you're used to. Now, I know WordPress does come with an extra scoop of to-do list items in terms of security, maintaining and updating plugins, as well as setting up and configuring and maintaining your own server. Now, that typically is a little bit of a pain. However, with today's sponsor and my personal favorite in terms of a hosting provider, a lot of that heavy lifting can be kind of given to someone else. If you haven't heard of Cloudways before, they're a fantastic managed hosting provider, which allows you to configure your own servers, has fantastic security right out the box, and when you need it, there is outstanding technical support available 24 seven. And if you're gonna dip your toe into the world of WordPress, then I highly recommend that you use them. And to help you out in the description below, there is a discount code for 25% off for your first two months. Right, so the three page builders we're gonna look at are Breakdance, Oxygen, and Bricks. All three are fantastic in terms of page speed right out the box in terms of performance and they're all extensible via either custom code, short codes, or actual application or plugin integrations. In terms of pricing, all three are relatively comparable. However, what I do like about all three of them is that they offer a unlimited or agency plan, which allows you to have unlimited websites for unlimited clients on the server of your choice. Okay, so let's start looking at what you really care about, and that's how it feels and how it works in relation to Webflow. So what I've got here is I've got all four of the page builders open from Webflow, Breakdance, Oxygen, and Bricks. Okay, in terms of Webflow, we've got our add elements, and this is pretty much consistent across all of them in terms of a add area. So we've got all the various different building blocks that you can possibly want and more, okay? In terms of the overall structure, they all follow very similar, similar layouts in terms of we have our responsiveness, and this is pretty much consistent across the board, okay? One difference you will notice though, when we create, for instance, a section, and we, in Webflow, we have this class area and we have our various different UI elements to edit the, the CSS. When we do the same in something like Breakdance, for example, we still get the, the UI elements to edit, but you can see there's no classes here that we can play with. And this is because Breakdance is trying to simplify some of the process and make it more ready for mass market instead of being more targeted towards developers. However, that said, you still can get access to classes. So if we go into the advanced section here, we can create some pretty cool classes. So we can say, for instance, go here, background gray, and we're able to edit that particular class. So let's just make it background gray. Now, the cool thing about all three of these page builders is that we can assign and remove classes independently. Whereas when Webflow, if we go and we add a class, so we say my class, for example, and I add another combo class, BG, I can't remove the my class independently. I have to remove all of the classes. But within Breakdance, Oxygen, and Bricks, you can do that independently. So I can add another class here, for example. So we got margin bottom 12 and just adjust some of the spacing. So we'll say 12 pixels there. And now what I can do is I can actually just go and I can still remove the classes that I don't want. So now that's common across all three page builders. In terms of Oxygen, it's pretty much the same. So if we add a section, we've got an ability to add classes as you would. Now, one thing to note with Oxygen, when you do add classes, you can't delete the classes natively. So you need to have a plugin in order to do that. So if I add a particular class, so MB12, I'm no longer able to delete or change the name of that particular class. There is plugins, however, that allow you to do that. So it's not really a massive deal. In terms of bricks, it's pretty similar. So again, we'll just add a section here. So section, and we have the same ability to add classes. So MB12. 12, for example, and we'll just go in here and we'll just add a, a bit to the margin, so 12. One thing that's really nice about bricks is if we go up to the top here, we have our classes and variables. So any classes that we create is automatically created here and we can manage that very simple and very easily renaming, deleting, etc. And uh, 
we can also lock and unlock and duplicate the class. Also another benefit here is the ability to export and import classes. So if you have a lot of utility framework that you've set up, it's pretty easy to get that spun up very quickly so that you're not having to reinvent the wheel. So excellent job there. In terms of the other UI, it's all relatively the same. So it's relatively straightforward and you should feel at home quite quickly. One thing to note though is Breakdance does sometimes oversimplify things and that's because it's aimed at more mass market and less at the developers. Breakdance and Oxygen are actually both built by the same company, Softly, and it is specifically for that reason. So Oxygen is tends towards more developer or people who are more confident or comfortable with technical aspects and Breakdance is more for your average user or people who just want to pick it up and get something out quite quickly. Okay, so in terms of Bricks, it also tends towards more of a development resource. I mean, it's still completely capable for anyone picking it up, but you do have to understand or know some elements of uh, CSS and basic web development in order to get it to really fly. For example, if we create a grid, so I'll just drop in a div here and we'll select that and just display it as a grid. You can see here the template columns and stuff like that. We don't have the same UI as Webflow. We get the ability to define the columns and rows visually, whereas in Bricks, we need to actually type 1FR, 1FR, 1FR to get the same type of thing. So you need to know a little bit of CSS in order to get that to work. In terms of one glaring area where neither of these page builders excels is in native animations. So Webflow has a fantastic interactions and animations system that, that you may be used to working with. And unfortunately, neither of these page builders has that natively built in. Bricks has a fantastic plugin that you can use in terms of adding a, a native GSAP animation, or you can all use you know, JavaScript and CSS animations as you normally would. Overall, the design and user experience is pretty seamless. And Oxygen, for example, used to be a bit sluggish, but it's really improved in the most recent updates. All three have established or growing communities. So fantastic support and plugins. So you've got a lot of stuff that you can get into it. And one of the great thing about it is that all three of these have the ability to try a free version online. So you can spin up a sandbox environment, test your heart's content and find which one is right for you. In terms of my personal preference, I've worked with Oxygen for quite a number of years and I've used it for a number of different websites. And I found it a fantastic page builder for developing pretty much anything you want. However, with the introduction of Bricks and my preference to Webflow as a page build experience, Bricks is certainly ticking a lot of those boxes and I find myself wanting to build in it more and more and more. The general user experience is fantastic and I think, as I said, it's pretty much as comparable to Webflow as possible. So definitely one to check out. Now that's my preference. I would strongly recommend you go try all three of the page builders and get a sense for which ones you like and drop a comment below. Tell me which one you think is best and yeah, see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.